Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. Today... Today... Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! My eyebrow is really itchy, so I'm trying really hard not to itch it. So just... Can I have an itch pass? Let me itch the brows. Today's compliment is that they tried to put you on the cover of Vogue, but your legs were too long. So as some of you may be aware, I am half Croatian and half Italian. Mike the Italian. And by having Italian blood, I automatically have an affinity towards pasta. It's very important to me. She is very gorgeous to me. However, I'm about to show you, viewer, some videos that are more important to me than pasta, which I don't want to undersell how important that is. I reckon I could list like 20, 30 types of pasta right now, right here, but that's not what this video is about. But just know that I can. So pretty much all of these videos are reality TV moments that were just too powerful for my hard drive and I had to share them around. But the relationship between my channel, reality TV, and YouTube's copyright little system, little sister system, is that just say there's a video, she gets uploaded, she gets blocked. So enjoy this while you can. Just the other day, actually, just the other day up in London, saw that Kissing on Street paparazzi, all that. My Dance Mums video got blocked in like 248 territories. So that's fun and very exciting. So if you're wondering why the clips sound pitchy or weird or they look a bit weird, it's because I'm trying to get them through the filter. Dear Lord, what a sad little life. So this first one is from Real Housewives of New York City. I hope Aviva understands that everybody isn't just gonna forgive and forget after just a few weeks. Are they dining on the Titanic? Those circular windows really giving me something. Mind you, circular windows are probably the best type of windows to have in a ship or an airplane. They really do be dining in a pressure vessel. Love that. And I think all of us at the table think that there are much bigger issues that you're not facing. There's gotta be deeper issues than just out of She said, let me move my bang to hear that again. No, you do not want to smoke. Basic summary here is that the other ladies are suggesting that Aviva is lying about having asthma and that there's much more going on. What are you talking about? Right? There's not asthma going on here. This is exactly. more than asthma. You claim you have asthma. I find it very, very, very hurtful that you don't believe that I have asthma. <laughs> You'll hear that music? Mm hmm. You say that you have never lied to any of us at the table and you find us really hurtful. I find that laughable. Heather, Heather, Heather. I don't know if that was a good decision. The only thing. Keep it together, Aviva. The only thing that is artificial or fake about me. She really said legs on the table. The only thing that is artificial or fake about me. There is so much about this that is very crucial and important. And the biggest thing for me is that Miss Aviva had that leg ready to go. Everything else is real. Everything else. At the end of the day, Aviva won. Viva, La Vida, Viva, Aviva. What the fuck? And I love all the shots of the leg on the floor. It just really adds to it. I also love that someone said, keep it together, Aviva. And then Aviva said, you know what? No. You want to know what? No. So this next one is from Amazing Race. Amazing Race is one of the shows where I used to watch this pretty much every night with my mum because it was always on Foxtel. There's so many episodes of this show. It's one of those shows that just seem to just have infinite amount of episodes like Criminal Minds. The limit does not exist. Or Grey's Anatomy. The limit does not exist. You have got this. Right in the kisser. Show that night who's boss. <laughs> not even three seconds after show that night who's boss. <laughs> the noise. <laughs> Let's rewatch it and let me scratch my eyebrow. You got this. Right in the kisser. Show that night who's boss. Are you okay? I can't feel my face. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. The weekend wrote that song about this. I have a worse headache. Ever. I don't doubt it. Okay, so what do we do now? You have to finish. What? <laughs> Look, the one melon in the face is funny, but then the fact that how long after, like maybe a minute after, she's like, what do I do now? You have to finish. Stop whinging. It's just a watermelon to the skull, like. No, I can't even see straight. 
They don't call it the Amazing Race for nothing. She's right though. And also, just gotta be clear that she is fine. Now she was fine. Don't demonetize me. I think you should experience it. You always say I want to experience things, but I don't think you actually want to experience things because you would experience it if you wanted to experience things. Period. She did kind of spill there, let's be real. <laughs> oh my God. Do you see the trend here? There is a trend. I don't know what it is about people falling over. I'm just like mentally thinking of the rest of these videos. Yeah, there's more examples of this. This one's for editing version of me. Can you please slow that down and put the experiencing things over the top of that with the rain filter? You always say I want to experience things, but I don't think you actually want to experience things because you would experience it if you wanted to experience things. Thanks. That was like a stack, like a stack. Cause her legs went like, Ugh. like she fell over and the legs went like, Oh, that reminds me of, I did a TikTok about this. I can do this thing with my hand. Like, is that not amazing? Let's get all final year high school English examination up in this. So this frame right here, you've got a person who represents generational wealth falling on a bike, which I assume is rented. And she's really sending it. Legs up in the air, what does that represent? And we've got the cameraman running in to get the shot. Now, is he getting the shot first or is he helping her up first? That's an ASA. Can you see that? Here. It's toothpaste. This one is from Australian MasterChef and I, this was big for me at the time and then I'd forgotten about it for a few years and then I saw a TikTok about this that someone used that flashback filter about this and Wow. And quite frankly, that. Is disgusting. And then it was an ad break. And I remember being like. Disgustingly good. Like literally, you did this for what? You did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? Master chef, master chef, master, master's, master's degree. It all makes sense. Quite frankly, that. Everyone else is like, I may pretend that I do not see it, but I did see it. He said, let me cry. Boo hoo. Boo hoo.com. This next one is from Come Dine With Me UK. I think it's season 37 or 36, episode one. And this video really came to my attention with the YouTube channel Chi with a C doing a recreation of it. So I would highly suggest going to view that video. The way that you've um, presented yourself, you have led us to believe that you are quite a sort of pompous human being. So I guess the context you need for this is that Peter and Jane were not seeing eye to eye. I think that's a nice way of putting it. I'm actually quite offended now. Jane, would you prefer it if someone said to you, mm. well, you behave like a fat troll and you didn't make much impact. <laughs> I just realized his shirt is the same as the wall. As the host, it's up to Peter to read out the results. So the other people in this episode did not enjoy what Peter put forth, thus scored him last. In fourth place is Nicky. Ah. Oh. They're all like, ah, oh, that's crazy. That's so, that's like, that's so crazy. How did that happen? I didn't give you a four. I didn't give you a three. I don't know why you're shaking your head at me. <clears throat> you won, Jane. Oh my God. Enjoy the money. I hope it makes oh you very God. happy. Dear Lord, what a sad little life, Jane. I can't believe this is real and I can't believe this is for free. Or, mm, um, yeah. You ruined my night completely so you could have the money, but I hope now you spend it on getting some lessons in grace and decorum because you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tires on. The fact that this isn't scripted is just oh, amazing. <laughs> well, you wouldn't, let's be honest. There's nobody in there, love. <laughs> Peter said, if I'm going down, you're all going down with me. Titanic tease. So Jane, take your money and get off my property. Because you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tires on. Ah, oh, wow. The last one is, it's for someone who's very, very, very 
important to me. And that's Gemma Collins. Here we have Gemma just doing a great job on the ice. She said, let me rehearse, let me practice, let me do my best. And you know what? She's doing a great job. And then... That's so upsetting. What's wrong with me? Why do I feel like this? I'm going crazy now. I think what's funny to me here is that she didn't even really do anything wrong. Like she did her little like whoosh, 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 triumphant hasha. And then I think this is the second video where I put a video of Gemma Collins falling over. What does that mean for me? If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, join me. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you all soon. What a sad little life you live. Peace out. Bye. It's Christmas. Let's go home. You have the grace and decorum of a reversing dump truck with no tyres. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.